Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rock Slate and I am back with another video. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Also make sure you're hitting that bell so you don't miss any notifications of when I upload new videos. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys my natural hair curl routine, what I do to my hair. I'm gonna be telling you guys about all the products I use in the tutorial. Also, make sure you stay till the end if you want to know shampoo, all that jazz, everything that I did to achieve this look. It's really not hard at all. I think that I have like 4C type of hair. You guys will see in just a few moments, freshly out the shower and everything, what my hair looks like. So, without further ado, I don't want to waste your time. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. If you guys want to know more deep and specs, make sure you stay till the outro. Alright, see you guys in the end. All right, you guys, so this is what my hair looks like freshly out the shower, very brittle looking. It's actually pretty moist right now with the water and everything for me co-washing it this morning. But I just wanted to show you guys the real and what it looked like. It's not always juicy and curly. It's just very thick, brittle, and yeah, we need to go ahead and apply some product to this bad boy. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and apply our Garnier Fructis Curl Nourishing Cream. I had some trouble squeezing this out the bottle, don't judge me y'all. And we're gonna really just massage that in. Like I said, my hair is very thick, so I literally have to massage it into my hair, deep into the scalp, so it gets all the action that it's needing. This is actually my first time using this product, but it smells amazing. So then we're gonna use the S Curl No Drip Curl Activator. Then uh, we're gonna be using the Extreme Gel to define my curls. The Demons Brush absolutely works wonders. And then my Edge Brush. So right now I'm just applying the product in my hair, the gel, and then I'm just gonna be brushing it through. This is the same exact process that I'm gonna be doing throughout my whole hair. So as you guys can see, I'm brushing it upwards. This is what's really going to define your curls. See that? That looks bomb.com. Of course, when it dries up, it looks a little bit better, but this is what we're working with, you guys. Like this brush has changed my life in so many ways. Like seriously, absolutely love it. It just makes the process so much easier. Now, I am going to be doing this same exact thing throughout my whole hair. So you just take it, it's like you're detangling your hair, really, with the gel and the brush. And you're just defining the curls as you're brushing it. You can find this brush on Amazon. It's called a Demons brush. Once again, absolutely amazing. I like the smaller one just because my hair is not all that long and it works easier for me to use the smaller one. So I'm not gonna show you guys the whole process of me doing my hair because it's literally just doing the same thing over and over again. And I just wanted to show you guys the basics of you know, how I'm gonna get that look. And to be completely honest with you guys, as you guys are about to see in just a few moments, the side of my hair curls way different than the middle part. That's just me. I don't know if there are any other girls out there that has the same type of hair as me. It's just crazy to me. Like when you brush it, it's not even gonna look like anything's really happening but just brush it and keep going because at the end, once you blow dry it, it'll all come together. But at first, it's just gonna look like nothing's happening if you have the same type of texture hair as me. But like I said, just keep going, don't mind it, whatever. Um, <laughs> it's At first, it just makes you wanna give up because it's like, okay, my whole hair won't do this, but just keep going and yeah, that's really it.
And as you can see, I was just getting really frustrated with the sides of my hair. I always get frustrated with it because I'm just like, I don't understand why I don't look like the top half of my hair. Like, that's just not fair. I don't understand. Um, but like I said, I, I think I just have different texture hair throughout my freaking head. And the middle is just the best. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. We are gonna go ahead and blow dry it so we can remove some of that excess white residue. But first we gotta go ahead and take care of our edges. I'm gonna be using my She Is Bomb edge control. Absolutely bomb, literally. Like this thing is amazing. It makes it look like your edges are permed almost. Super sleek. Last but not least, we're just gonna go ahead and blow dry our hair and beat our face and we are done. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into all the products that I actually used in my hair. I will be leaving descriptions, like information um, in the description box of everything that I use, just so that you guys know exactly everything that I did to my hair. Let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first is I actually washed my hair yesterday, so the day prior, and I did like a leave in mask it's like a hair mask and this is from tgin thank god it's natural it's their honey miracle hair mask with raw honey olive oil and this stuff is really amazing it smells absolutely bomb so you shampoo your hair first obviously and then you're gonna go ahead and do like your leave-in mask but what i actually used to shampoo my hair yesterday is tresemme moisture so you guys know exactly what it is that I use. So my hair is really, 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 really thick. It holds water like crazy, y'all. Like seriously, my hair holds water like it's nobody's business. It's like a sponge, like it just soaks everything in. Literally, that's my hair. This morning, actually, I went ahead and used my Bella Curls. It's their coconut whipped cream leave-in conditioner. So that is what I used this morning. So I kind of did like a co-wash this morning. I already washed my hair the day prior, but I just kind of let it air dry yesterday and stuff like that. And I like my hair to be a little bit moist before we actually get into applying products and stuff like that. So that is why I went ahead and did the co-wash this morning. I used the S Curl curl activator moisturizer the no drip is from lustrous i purchased this from amazon everything that i use i purchased from amazon my edges i use she is bomb collection edge control so that's what i use on my edges and then for the gel for the product that i use to get my curls popping is going to be the extreme professional gel really 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 big jar from Target. It was actually less expensive from Target versus buying it on Amazon. So that is what I use. As far as to get my curls popping, y'all I absolutely swear by this. It's called a Demons Brush. This is what it looks like. It still has some of my hair in here. Ew. Absolutely love this thing because without this it would make the process so much harder for me. Just it's just so much easier to use this. I have actually done this very same style that you guys see in right now. I've done this in, in like 15 minutes. Literally, it doesn't take that long. Um, what I did was to make it a little bit easier is just apply the product all over. And then I just went through and just, I was just brushing my hair as if like I was like detangling it basically. And I would just go over, over, over it again until I got the curls that I wanted. So this is what my hair looks like now. As you guys can see, this is like basically like the finishing look my curls pop more up in here than any other part of my hair i don't know why but i feel like i have different textures hair throughout my head i know it sounds crazy but literally like the sides don't curl as well as up here i don't i don't know if anybody else is like that but it just doesn't curl like that i wish it did curl like this i mean Super freaking pretty, y'all. After I did that, I did my edges last, and then I blow dried my hair. So it's not like super hard right now because I only blow dried it for maybe like five to 10 minutes just to kind of get like the white residue and stuff like that dried up. As you guys can see, there's no like flakes or anything. I don't know how the extreme 
gel works just yet as far as like using it for a whole day. I typically use Eco Styler Gel, the green one, just like the general green one. That's what I typically use to define my curls, but today I just decided to use that one just to see how it was gonna turn out. So this is my first time using that. If you want your curls to last for the whole weekend or you know however many days it is, these are the products that I use to keep my curls fresh. So there's a curl refreshing spray. It's from Miel. Um, it's pomegranate and honey and it's anti-frizz. It smells amazing. Like this, you need this. So I spray this in my hair to refresh my curls. If I do have any type of white residue or crunchiness, I go in with my hair oil and just kind of like massaging just a little bit but not you know nothing too crazy and then I also have sweet vanilla crush help my curls leave in. it kind of gives you a little bit of volume if you want to spruce it up a little bit I feel like the older your hair gets the better it looks so that's just my opinion but yeah that's really all that I use in my hair I did forget to mention my Garnier Fructis Curl Nourish Leave-In Treatment. It has glycerin and coconut oil butter cream. So I did massage this in my hair as you guys saw earlier on in the video. Like I said, my hair is very thick, it's very full, so I have to like really get the product in there by massaging it in. It's just gonna stay at the very top of my hair and it's gonna look crazy because my hair is just, it's weird. It's like a sponge, like, I don't know. It's, I want it to lock in everything, so I have to like massage it in there. That is really it, you guys. If you guys have been following my journey, I shaved my hair completely bald like eight months ago. So my hair is longer than this, but as y'all know, my natural sister's like shrinkage is real all the time. So yeah, of course it looks a lot shorter, but I actually like it to look like this like it's really cute to me that is really it that is really all that i have to say today i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys do want to see more natural hair tutorials or whatever it is definitely let me know i'll be more than happy to try different styles and all that jazz for you guys but yeah thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys on my next video bye